What is a computer? If you're thinking about a big metal case or big tall cabinets full of flashing lights in a data center like you see in the movies, you're thinking about computers, but in a more classic or traditional sense. Really, all a computer is, is a collection of CPU, memory, network, and disk, or disks. In thinking of these four main components in a computer, you start thinking less of the traditional sense of a computer and more of the way computers are today. In fact, computers are so much more prevalent in today's society than ever were before, and they truly are everywhere and more powerful than ever before. Let's think about the computers you see and probably interact with on a daily basis. Desktop computers are the traditional computers for most people, sitting at or beside someone's desk, monitor and keyboard and mouse attached to it. Laptops are like a portable version of that, with a monitor and keyboard built in, and a mouse in the form of a trackpad. And these usually have batteries and wireless capabilities like Wi-Fi, and usually a USB port or two or three or four. In newer laptops, the display is even a touchscreen. Tablets. Yes, these are computers, and tablets are essentially a much more portable version of a laptop. No keyboard physically attached, usually. Touch screen for the display. Battery built in, wireless networking built in, solid state drives. They're lighter than laptops and have traditionally sacrificed storage capacity and memory and computing power for portability. Smartphones, yes, these are also computers, especially if you think of a tablet, really a smartphone is just a smaller tablet that has not just wireless, but cellular network capabilities as well. A smart TV, a smart refrigerator, a smart crock pot, for example. All of these smart devices are themselves computers, in a lot of cases with internet connectivity. So that, for example, a smart fridge that starts seeing that we're out of milk and eggs can automatically order you milk and eggs. Or a smart crock pot might allow me to not only schedule when I want my meal to be cooked, but to be able to check the status of it from anywhere with a network connection. So we start thinking about these kinds of concepts, computers being just a collection of CPU, memory, network, and disk, it starts making it more obvious that computers truly are everywhere.